What is going on guys? It is your boy Big CJ and welcome back to a new video. Now I know I haven't uploaded in a while and that's because I've actually been working on this video. You're looking at this video? What is this video? Today I will be playing New Super Mario Bros. Wii with only half of my screen. Yes, half my screen. That includes the entire right side of my screen. I just cannot see. And I will be playing from World 1 to the very end. This video will be shown World 1, and eventually I'll get World 2 all the way to World 8 done, and I'll even have a compilation video to like show all of them together. Um, there is some exceptions of how this will work. First off, like I said, I can only see half the screen, so the only part of the screen I can see is the left half. There are some things I did though to make it more progressive. First off, I did give myself eventually infinite lives. The reason for that is because I don't feel like running around and wasting like hours redoing levels that I've already done. So I thought that would be boring. So I thought the challenge more for this would be to beat the levels. I think that's more important than trying to work really hard for the same goal that I repeat over and over again. So eventually I will get infinite lives as you'll see later on. Another thing too is star coins. I don't really care about them for this uh, video. Maybe in the future I will do star coins, but in the moment this is the first time I'm ever doing a video like this. So no star coins. And the final thing too is no, I will not be playing every single level in all the worlds. Just the levels to get through all the castles. The whole goal is just basically to beat Bowser with only half my screen. That is my entire goal. So no World 9, no beating every single level, no star coins. The only thing that's different between playing this normally and what I'm doing is just me not seeing the entire right half of my screen. You will see in this video today that I will be showing what it's like to see only half the screen. Some of the parts you'll see just the whole video and other parts you'll just see half the screen, which is what I basically see. So. Yeah, guys, what, let's get straight into it. Now, before we do, first off, comment down below if you do really enjoy this. I would very much appreciate it. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, guys. Thank you very much. I know, once again, I haven't uploaded in a minute. But I wanted to bring out something really fun. And this is something I really wanted to do. And I've been working on it for a while now. So, please, thank you guys for everyone that's been showing support. Let's, let's get straight into it. Alright, now starting off with World 1-1, I did start to realize what I signed up to as I had the realization that this is a lot harder than I thought it would be, but I stay committed. Now, a lot of things I realized when I started playing this, first off, yes, I can see Mario when I'm running to the right, however, when I run to the left, Mario actually disappears from my screen, and I can't see him again until you start running to the right, which I realize becomes a big issue. Um... Where's he at? Why is he all the way down there? Wait. Oh, there we go. Why was he in the- Why was he- Oh, man, that's a problem. Wait. He was- Why was he- Oh, no, dude. Another thing, too, is that, yes, I do see Mario, but I barely see Mario, which also means that any of the characters coming towards me to the right is going to become an issue. This includes Bullet Bills, Koopas, Paratroopas, literally almost anything walking towards me. It was a lot more of an issue, as you'll see later on. Although, yes, it was really hard. World at 1-1 was actually really easy. I actually only took a little longer because I thought that the that the, the, the Koopa trick to get infinite one-ups was on this level, when I realized that it actually was done. It was actually in World 2. So, I took a little longer because of that. But World at 1-1 was actually incredibly easy. I died once or twice, and that was once again just because of the Koopa trick. But otherwise, I did this pretty successfully. And yeah, let's get to the next one. Now onto World 1-2, or Level 1-2, uh, another pretty easy level if I say so myself. The reason why, I didn't die once in this level at all. The only thing that was actually really, that kind of stopped my time was my mother walking in. 
so that actually slowed my time down a little bit, but otherwise, I did this level pretty easily. The big thing about this level was you get an ice flower almost immediately, which, which was a big thing early on in this game, is you get items really easily. So, killing all the enemies in front of me became a lot easier. This is another thing I realized too, was one, propeller suits are really, really useful in this game to skip through things, and two, ice flowers and fire flowers be also become really useful as they kill things right in front of you, so your chances of getting hit by something are less likely. But otherwise, yeah, this was a little difficult. Not really. It was kind of easy, but it was still trying to, I was still trying to get used to it. But I did complete this pretty successfully, did it on my first try. Now as I completed that level pretty easily, I did have a little intermission by going to the Mushroom House, which a big thing about the Mushroom House is this is a game where you punch the, the chain wall. The, the way to do this is you just basically climb the wall and you get items. And four of the spots out of like, 18, for the 18 spots or Bowser or Bowser Jr. If you get two of those Bowser or Bowser Jr. matches, you you lose. Which, as you'll see, I did do that. A big thing about this one I realized is one, get inside the door was actually a lot harder than I thought. The door to get in the room, because I can't see it. The second thing I realized too was I can't see the right nine panels, so only the the left nine panels I'll see. And as you'll see as I'm I'll be playing this, you'll you'll see that I only go for the left ones at first, because they're the only ones I can see. I I can't see the right half. Oh, that was a freaking oh, I could have got the ice flower. Now going into level 1-3, it's another pretty easy level if I say so myself. Why? Because it's 1-3. A big thing about this level was there was no items, but I got Yoshi. Now, I will say this, first off, why the hell did they not add Yoshi to other levels? I have no idea in this game, but Yoshi did actually really help, although one of the big issues with Yoshi on this level was the moment I lost him, I lost him. I need this for what? Oh no! He's gone. He is gone. Oh no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Now, I, yeah, sometimes I would get him back and I'd be lucky to see him running back. But a big thing I also realized about this challenge was that Yoshi was going to be really hard to stay attached to because I can't even see the enemies in front of me. So, yes, I could be eating all the Goombas I can, but Yoshi is not as impactful as a Fire Flower or Ice Flower. So, it, it becomes a lot harder. Now, so now, I'm saying this, but I actually beat the level first try. I didn't die once doing this, thankfully, but as you'll see, it, it will get much harder. So, yes, that's 1-3. Now, before I got to the tower, I had to stop real quick and get a star. I had no memory of what the hell this room was, but it was a star room. I also had Toad run up to me, telling me that this is bad news. No, I will not be doing these Toad challenges. Why would I want to do these? Toad, I am not. No. Toad, get out. I don't care, Toad. Get out. Wait, no, this is gonna be. Oh, that's gonna be literally impossible. Are you kidding me? Oh, no! I just realized that this is a castle. <laughs> Alright, the next level we have is the One Dash Tower. Now. If there was any moment I realized the trouble I got myself into, it was absolutely this level, and easily it was because this is the only level in every world that the level does not go left to right. Now there are some occasions where like the level will go like up to down and play vertically, but the towers specifically always do this without fail. And this is a big problem for me because the level's going left to right, yes you can't see what's coming to your right, but at least you can move to the right. This level, you cannot at all see the right half of the screen. So anything that's that plays on the right half of the screen, I cannot see the entire level. And which means that I it is based off of luck of how I beat these levels. Now, thankfully this one wasn't as hard as I will realize the rest of them are, but this one I really thought was one of the hardest levels at the moment. It was realized a lot later that they, they will get a lot harder. This level though, I did die five different times, three from the first half of the level and two from the second half. 
Honestly, I thought I died more when I was looking back at this recording, but I actually didn't die as much as I thought I did. It was actually kind of impressive how well I did for the first tower that I ever did, playing with only half my screen. I'll show some moments in here with only half the screen, but it was absolutely ridiculous how hard it was. I didn't know! I didn't know there was an enemy! I didn't know! The easiest thing about this level, honestly, was probably facing Larry. Because all I needed was the left half of the screen, and if he just jumped to the left, I would kill him immediately, and I'd kill him. So, that was one dash tower, but this was the soon-to-become problem, where the towers will be really, really hard. And yes, the castles, some of the castles are actually incredibly hard, as you will see later on in this video, but this, these tower levels become a problem, just specifically because I can't see the right side of the screen. And... Right when I thought I was done this problem, I realized this problem. No. Is the underwater level next? What? Okay, well let's just say I did think that this was actually going to be a problem. But I'll tell you right now, I'm not going to lie, I beat this level first try. Now, is the reason because of the water level? No, the reason actually to this level is because there's actually so many power-ups in this level that I just kept grabbing them over and over and over and it kept me alive, honestly. However, I will say, not saying this level is easy, I got hit multiple times and this was because of the Jeep Jeeps, there were so many. You can't see them coming and you don't got much time to move around. So the time, it's really hard, but with all the power-ups, it did make the level really easy, which is why I beat it first try. I had a lot of worry with this level. So, yes, I did beat it. There was some trouble in parts, once again, the Jeep Jeeps. There was also the purple spiky fish. Oh my god! Where is the pipe? Where is the pipe? Where is the pipe? They were kind of difficult too, but otherwise, did it first try, it was pretty easy, and yeah. Now before I got to the next level, I had to face the Goomba because the Goomba got in my way and thankfully I actually did this one first try. This was another part that I worried about in all the worlds because I can't see the right side of the screen. Now thankfully these were just Goombas and they were tiny Goombas so I can see them all on the left, left side as they move but in the future there will be some enemies that don't move from the right side so I have to just somehow get the toad ball thingies without having trouble so we'll see how that goes but right now first try and I got the three mushrooms and saved toad also before I went to the next level I also hit up a mushroom house and as you can see here I was really struggling to find the door at these points I eventually figured out how to do it this one wasn't much different I just got three items once again I got a mushroom fire flower and ice flower so more items but you'll see what goes on later with these items. Alright, as you can see, I actually skipped 1-5, and the reason for this was because I actually had a choice between picking 1-5 and 1-6. I decided to go for 1-6, mainly because 1-5 is a mushroom in the air level, and I thought playing in the air would be a lot harder, so I did 1-6. Was it the right choice? I honestly don't know. I actually died four times on this level, That's not that's exactly what I was worried about dying from. Which is kind of shocking for a ground level, especially in the world one, for how much I've been dying. The reason why I think part of my issue I took so long playing this level, which I, I don't know the exact time, but uh, this was one of the longer recordings of levels that I played, it was actually because I had so little lives that I had to collect coins to keep myself up and staying in the game. So I did that, I died four times, You'll see, you, as you see the issues here, I just need to hit every single thing I can. Oh my, of course, of course. But eventually I did beat the level. It took me a bit of time though. It not, it wasn't a short amount of time, but it, I got through it. I got it done and yeah, let's get to the castle.
Alrighty, and the final level we have is the One Dash Castle. This was, I would say, the hardest level on this world. This actually took me some time. Part of the reason was because when I was playing this level, I died in total five times. As you can see, I didn't have enough lives. So I actually had to reset and redo the levels I did after the tower, which uh, with those, I actually just played them. I just played them off camera just because I just thought it wouldn't be as enjoyable to watch. I should have just ducked. I should have ducked. I knew that was a stupid idea. Wait, so what happens? Do I have to reset the level? Wait, I don't remember. No. A Absol- Okay, hold on. No, that's not- We're not doing this. I didn't know it restarts the whole thing. I came back and eventually I started playing it again. And I realized the first half was actually not too hard. It was really the second half where the thwomps came in with the gears. The gears were kind of difficult, don't get me wrong, but the thwomps, when you couldn't even see them, made it really difficult. Okay. In all defense, how was I supposed to know? So it was really hard to get through this level, but thankfully, eventually I did get, I broke through, and I went to face Larry, Larry's challenge was a little bit more difficult, but thankfully I did defeat that. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, that actually scared the hell out of me. Alright, that's world one. We did world one. Let's go. Oh my god. That actually is terrible. And yes, the five deaths were pretty bad it was a long time it took about 15 to 20 minutes to beat this level which was definitely the longest i took which you know the castles are really hard the towers are pretty scary but this should be expected that the castles are no matter what probably the hardest level in each world some of them are easier than others some of the towers are really are harder than others like sometimes it's just the level like a level that's just harder but in this world, it is kind of just kind of what you expect. It's the castle that's the hardest, and then the tower that is the second hardest. That was, to me at least, what I was thinking. Overall, this world was like pretty easy, but at the same time, it is world one. It should be expected that it should be easy, but at the same time, it also did bring some challenges here and there. Now, is that this be said for the next world? Uh, let's just say, yeah, we're gonna be in the world two and this next video it's gonna be challenging all right Come back. <sighs> to the first world this is gonna be I much my, my clothes are gonna be changing guys you're, you're gonna see my clothes have different uh, different clothes on different days because I'm letting you know right now this is not gonna go too far well, no, I, I'm going to beat this. Uh, my, I really am going to try to beat this, but goodness gracious, this is going to be something. 